Hey, it's Josephine from The Point Shop, and today I fitted Kira. So Kira won gold in YGP last year, and she got to participate in Pretty Lausanne. So this is a very high-level dancer in training. We were very excited to fit her because she is just absolutely gorgeous. But when she walked in and she pointed her foot, I noticed that there was an injury. And I asked her what happened with her ankle, and she told me that she had sprained it a couple years ago, re-sprained it last year, and now she's dealing with a lot of Achilles pain. So every athlete or every sport has an on-season and off-season. So during the off-season, it allows your body to rest and recover. But with dancers in training, because they are dancing the entire year, it's one season after another. So there's YGP, there's Pre de Luzon, there's Nutcracker season, there's audition season, there's summer intensive. So it's just one thing after another. So a lot of dancers who are very motivated and dancers who are at a very high level training, they just love dance so much and they don't want to take time off. There's so many things that are happening throughout the year that they're really afraid to just take a break and recover. When I sprained it a year ago, I did an x-ray and all we saw was a sprain, but I've never done an MRI. Does it actively hurt? Yes. <laughs> because a lot of times things don't show up on the x-ray. A yeah. lot of dance injuries. A lot of doctors don't want to they don't want to order you an MRI because it's so expensive. Yeah. But I think it's worth it for you if it's constantly hurting you. Yeah. And are you still actively dancing on point? Yes, it hurts, but I still do. Mm. Point every day. Okay. <laughs> I would definitely go to someone who understands dancers. Okay. People that are used to seeing ballet dancers, they'll know what to look for. Okay. And those get missed. And that, that doesn't mean that they're not good doctors, it's just like, that's a very specific yeah. position that ballerinas are in. Yes. And then what's happening right now, because you're working so hard, you're scrunching your toes and then you're sickling. Yeah. And then this part of your ankle is really traumatized. So it's like your body's trying to protect itself. Your left ankle looks fantastic. There's something going on with the right. When yeah. you sink in your point shoes, do you notice that you sink more on the right before you've got the perfect fit? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, so yeah. you're actually two different sizes. Okay. Let's take a look at your shoe. Is it always a little baggy on your right side? Yeah, um, my feet are just so narrow, so they're always really baggy, mm -hmm. and then they're a little baggy in my heels. No. Great. Step up on the plate for me. You look fantastic for having an injury, <laughs> but when you go up on point, does your teacher tell you you kind of roll up this way? Yes. Yeah. So that's the trauma that you're experiencing on the outside from yeah. your spring and your respring. But it, I know that ballerinas are very tough <laughs> and you look fantastic. I think most people won't even notice that you have an injury. But um, if you keep dancing on it, yeah, it takes even longer to get back. Yeah. So it's not actually, you're not actually improving by continuing to dance. Yeah. I noticed right away that her right foot was a little bit smaller than her left foot. Because she sprained her ankle on the outside, I noticed that she tends to sickle and when she goes up to Eleve, her natural tendency is to roll to her pinky because her body's traumatized. Her ankle is traumatized from being hurt. Because she's been suffering from this injury for a very long time, it was important for me to find her a point shoe that was going to take work off of that ankle. I knew that if I sent her home and told her not to dance anymore, she would continue to dance. And a lot of dancers do that. So the best that I could do as a point shoe fitter was to get her a shoe that won't injure her further. Dummy pleating? Is it pressing anywhere? No. Great. Straighten. Bring your left hip on point. But an injury she does, and it's not the same for everybody. Some people need um, more support to, to take the work off of your ankle, and some people need less support, like a softer shoe so they can roll through. Okay. You need more support. Yeah. Step up onto both feet. That looks much better. That's breaking much higher. That's it feels beautiful. way more supported. Yeah. So you don't need it for your left, but the right, I think that looks better. And it's a little bit less fabric, so it's not as baggy. Yeah. Yeah, cross it into the position. 
it's not a higher profile, but it's a different box shape. So you're not like pressing forward, you know what I mean? Yeah, and the use it seems to take even off of my injured ankle side, mm -hmm. it seems to take pain off of that too a little bit. Great. So that's what we want. Yeah. When I gave her a shoe that was more supportive, she stopped doing that. Because her right foot is a little bit smaller and she's always been in the same size shoe, her right foot is rolling around inside her shoe while the left one feels more secure. But in Kira's case, it would benefit her to get fitted in a smaller size just on her right foot so that it is a little bit more secure and it gives her a little bit more support. There's a lot of things that you have to consider when it comes to injuries. The point shoes can only do so much. I can't fix everything. I can only make the point shoe better for you. But it's really important to find a group of people that can take care of all of these different things. So if you want to be a healthy dancer that dance for as long as you wish, you have to address all of these different issues that you will, are going to be running into throughout your career. Because the culture of ballet is about perseverance and hard work. And I love that. But at the same time, it could be to your detriment if you don't know what your limits are. Our pain tolerance is so much higher. Our ability to push through difficult things is so much higher that dancers can continue to re-injure themselves even if they don't know it. And we see that all the time. Have a team behind you that knows you, understands you, and knows dance and understands dance. And if you have any problems, if you have any issues with your ankles or your feet or your knees or your mental health, whatever it is, there will be someone that can hold your hand through this entire process.